Hi again and welcome back. I'm Rudolf Fahrenheit and we're playing Kid Icarus in Japanese. We're in a fortress now and fortresses are basically like dungeons from the first Zelda. Our goal is to seek out the boss, whose health we can see in the lower right. So let's get on that. These are Ganymeds. And these are Kovils. Those up there, those pots, will summon Chimums, if I get under them, in groups of four as always, and that down there is a Centurion statue. This is where the hammers come in. Pit smash! And the Centurion flies off to rejoin us later. Centurions aren't entirely useful, or really useful at all, but I want to show them off, so we'll revive a few anyway. That down there is a check sheet. It's like the map from Zelda, only... It does nothing on its own. If we go this way, we could get some items that actually make it usable. This up here is a hospital. It will become important later, I assure you. I'll explain what it does then. I'll wait. Come on, move. I can't actually get them, but I figure I'll at least show off what the items look like. Here they are. This is the pencil. And as you move between rooms, it draws a path on your check sheet automatically. This is the torch. It's basically like the compass and about as useful. It shows your current location on the check sheet. We can't afford either, thanks to, well, the credit card, but we shouldn't be needing them. Let's get back to looking for the boss. Who, if I'm not mistaken, is up here. Grab the ladder pit. Thank you. You are on the way, so you must die. Hey, mind if I borrow your head for a second? Thank you. It's what Pelotina's army is for. The good news about fortresses is there are no reapers. The bad news, there are these guys instead. These are eggplant wizards. And... If the eggplants they throw hit you, you become an eggplant. Like this. Being an eggplant means you can't attack. The only way to cure it is by going to a hospital. So let's get looking. We actually already know where one is. But there's something up ahead that I need. Just hang on to the ladder, and... Eggplant slide! A hot spring! Who has two thumbs and loves hot springs? Not me, because I'm an eggplant. Although I do apparently have feet. Anyway, now that we have full health, thanks to the hot spring, we can go back to that hospital. We can't go up, so the only way we can get there is by going further forward. Ouch. Just have to do a little eggplant obstacle course. Ouch. Red Ganymeds. Oh dear. More eggplant wizards.
Uh, this is going to be tricky. I can't attack. Just have to dodge. Apparently, I can climb a ladder without hands. I'm not complaining. Grab the ladder. I know you don't have hands, but you can do it. I've seen you. And we're back to normal. I can make this hammer float with my mind. But that's not important. What is, is that we are no longer an eggplant. Back to looking for the boss. Yeah, eggplant wizards, they're basically there to waste your time. Nobody likes them. We have to think of a way to deal with them. I could hit them with hammers, which deal 5 damage per hit. Or I could shoot them. Always a good solution. That should make it easier to get through. Oh, miss the heart. Well, we made it through. Now on to the hot spring. I kind of need it. Scratch that, I really need it. Oh, wait. We're almost there. I could just take a little damage. I'll heal it anyway. Health restored. But we're still hungry. Now... Now we can resume looking for the boss. How many points do we have? Mm, not bad. Oops. Just do this again. Those eggplant withers are going to be up ahead. Ouch. Nice. Wow! Really? Before I go back to the hospital, I'm going to run back to a hot spring. I'm going to die. Are you seeing a pattern? I totally am. The fortress takes a while to load, it seems. This time, forget the check sheet. It's not like I was actually using it. I would still like the Centurions. We'll take our little shortcut again. We're leaving that one a statue, just in case. Check 
just in case we need to go through there again. We can get this one, though. Because why not? Get you. I wonder how much of my debt I've paid off. Has anyone been keeping count? I haven't. Yeah, we'll break this one too, why not? Uh right. No, that was close, but we did it. I'm not going to break all of the all the blah blah. I'm not going to break all of the Centurion statues, just the ones that I happen to run into. There are a ton of them. No one's going to notice if a few go missing. Now on to the hot spring. And the boss. Ouch. We have six hammers left. Alright, let's get going. Any hammers we don't use to revive Centurions, I will just use to hit the boss. through the obstacle course again. I'm not looking forward to the next part. This part or the eggplant withers. Oops! Ah! I'll just hit you with this. That works. And we're at the boss. You can tell because of the ominous statues. Ready, and... Archer's at the ready! This is Twin Bellows. Essentially Cerberus, minus one head. Even serves the same purpose. Ouch! He even guards the gate to the underworld. You know, I think the Centurions are actually saving my life. Yes! Yes, we did it! Twin Bellows drops a treasure chest. Would you believe it? We're out of the underworld! Where's my level up? I thought I was supposed to get a level up at 10,000 points. Well, isn't that peculiar? Oh well, now that we're out of the underworld, we've accomplished a lot. Seriously, it was hard. I died a lot of times, I saved a bunch of outtakes. Maybe I'll show those off later. 
if if I feel like it. Anyway, I'm Rudolf Fahrenheit. This is Kid Icarus. It's been really hard. Hopefully it will get easier from now on. And I will see you next time. I will see you next time.